cut the 2 by 4 in half. Then you take another 2 by 4 and cut a foot and a half off of it. Screw that on here, screw that, both of these to here. We're going to draw the angle here so that the third 2 by 4 rests on the ground on this side and is flush against this. See, we're going to make the second support right so now. So then you can put another one under it on the top. So it could be the same. On the bottom and like that. So that's how you get the other So we'll match that right now. Yeah. And make sure you have a sandbox with someone so doing some it. digging. Draw this one right here. that to draw that and okay. then scribble this line out because that's not the one you're cutting we don't want this line and we don't want that line okay there you go there's your angle piece this is the second one we're cutting the angle piece first yeah. the first one we cut the sec the angle piece last oh this is this is gonna be a pain in the butt <laughs> long hair and saws is a bad idea low battery this is how you saw <laughs> with a low battery <laughs> with a low my safety gear is invisible. Yari, do you have anything to say? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's why you just need to cut a foot and a half, half off, off of this one. one. And then you'll have all your pieces. So eight foot two by four, foot and a half. This is a Lewis trick. You actually do two wings like this, so you know where the center is. Yeah. Nice. Brilliant. You call it a carrot. Are you sure it's all not right, a seagull? You don't want my board on that horse? No. Well, I'm just gonna use it for a moment, okay? I'm gonna saw it, right? Got all our pieces? I think so. Put that foot and a half on the bottom of that one that you just cut. Just screw it right onto the bottom. Exactly. We need two inch. I'm doing two on the bottom and two on the top, right? Yeah. No, not too close to the bottom. You can split the wood. Is that there good? Go. That's better. We got Let's our four in here. Oh boy. I, I want to mark a foot on this four foot board. That's going to be the bottom support. The front. <laughs> yes. Oh, do you see that? You see my carrot? YouTube magic. Oh my God. Yep, we want to put that on the top. Grab your leg. And this guy's got to be on the inside. On the outside. Outside. Yeah. That's where you want to put it. That's where I want. And you want your foot in front of it like that. The, yep. That's what we don't know it's going to be. Just put two and then you can the pop two. one screw and adjust the height of okay. it. Okay, final piece. Da, da, da. So is that from here to here is four foot? So yeah, because that's one foot from the top. So you want that same four foot over here is going to tell you where the top of this, this so is. So from like. this support for the bottom of the mirror plywood. I'll screw that in. You hold your screw, right. whatever length screw, you go like this. Because you, you don't, don't want it sticking it out here. the back, the pokey stuff. So you, you go want like pokey that. Stuff. Just put two screws in there for now. So instead of this 2x4 piece. No, no, put that right there and screw it in like that. Well, I'm going to wait for the right size piece of plywood. Half inch 4x8 piece of sheet of plywood is going to go in between here, and I'm going to glue. Those regular mirrors, those six dollar mirrors, to it to make a large mirror. So you only put two screws here and two screws over here. So then once you get it together, you can pop one screw there and one screw there, and then move all of this so you can get the right vertical, and then you put the rest of your screws back in, it'll be exactly where you want it. Right. And, then and I'm gonna get two and a half inch carriage bolt with carriage wing nuts. bolt with matching wing nuts. Well, you're going to drill a hole that's yeah. bigger than the carriage bolt. Right. And the car the hole's going to go through your plywood and right. through here, which that's a pre-drilled hole. Right. And then the carriage bolt goes in, and then on the back you just wing nut it. Right. So that's where the mirror's going to be. you just need four be. of those, two on each side. Probably should have put this in a little lower, because then we could have put the carriage bolt right in the top corner. You have plenty of room right here to put carriage bolts. Right. Put one here. Yep. And then you one put, down there. put one here. Mm -hmm. And you can put a third if you want. It okay. depends how solid your cool. plywood is. So the supports I've painted black because they're going to be touching the floor. I wanted them to have a little protection. And I have polyurethane the plywood after I sanded it a little bit just because I didn't want any splinters to happen. I got
So it wasn't easy. We had to tip the black pieces, you know, on their side on this diagonal against the floor and then put the plywood base on the, on the bottom of the first one. We needed two people and I drilled that in and then we were able to attach the base of the plywood to the other foot right here. And then we were able to bring it up because it was laying down on the floor, right? It was laying down with this diagonal part against the floor. And we screwed in the base, tipped it up, and then screwed in up near the top. Got to make sure that you leave enough space for this support on the side of the two by four. And we have bolts that are two and a half inches and have little wing nuts and washers. I didn't put a washer on that one. I don't really know what washers are for, but I think you're supposed to use them on one side. So I'm gonna put another one in the middle and that'll be the last one. Then we'll have six places where there's bolts so that if you wanna take the mirror apart and put it outside or make it easier to transport, you can just unattach the mirror from the supports. Last one, baby. All right, get the bolt in, get the wing on the back. And then we know that the plywood is gonna fit the stand so then we can glue on the mirrors. Oh, I'm gonna need a little, I'm gonna need a little hammer action. You want the hole to be a, just a little bit bigger than your bolt. So the bolt can slide through and slide back through. And the wing nuts are here because then it's a lot easier to unattach it. This is so tedious and it's really hard if you're trying to blow dry it and do it yourself with the scraping because you're, you're softening the glue on the back of the mirror with the blow dryer. So get somebody to help. So since these mirrors are new, the glue on the back is strong. So I peel off the paper here with this. And then oh, first I cut it on the sides with this blade. I, I like these things, but I found it really hard to do both of these things yourself with the blow dryer and the blade. But if you can get someone to hold the blow dryer over the glue, it comes off so much easier. I broke two of these mirrors when I did it myself the other day. Oops. Gotta take your time with these bad boys. I can't believe I didn't just get one of these things. Oh my God. Ugh. Mirror and I'm gonna glue down my very first mirror. So I marked the complete center, which is four feet from each side, and then marked six inches on either side, because that's the width of the mirror. I'm gonna make sure that I'm picking, I'm picking the side of the board that I like the most. You know, whenever you work with, especially cheaper wood, you want the nicest sides to be the most used sides. I'm gonna put the bottom of the mirror right there, because it's gonna be a little tiny bit taller and I'm gonna let it stick out a little bit over the top and I'm gonna put something on top to protect it. So, taking the glue off the back of these mirror frame mirrors was a pain in the butt. And so what I did was I'm just gonna compromise with myself and put three in the middle and then put the framed mirrors on the side. So they're a little taller than the four by eight plywood. So I'm gonna line it up here. First I'm gonna put you know, I marked the middle right here and I put the center frameless mirror there and then put the other two next to it. And then I measured from here to here so that I can add one of these frames that I'm cutting. So it's 35 and a half inches. So I'm gonna cut that and I'm gonna glue that down while I glue these as well. And I'm gonna glue these on the sides, the frame mirrors. And then I'm gonna go back to Walmart and get two more mirrors and put them on the sides if I like. I'm gonna see how it all looks. And what's gonna be tricky here is I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with this top overhang because I wanna be able to take this mirror off of the supports and lean it up against a wall so the base won't be an issue, but I don't want there to be pressure on the mirrors from the top if I lean it up against the wall. So I might put blocks or something on the back so that it would have something to lean against um, instead of having the top of the mirrors bending against the wall. So I realized that this whole bottom part is flush against my basement floor and it's hard to move myself. So I bought some wheels and they're wheels with a little on off like brake situation. A simple Home Depot. I think they were like five bucks each and I'm going to put them 
on lined up. I'm going to put them up here and down here in the same line so that we can roll the mirror and also have the brakes on it too. Getting these, they might be overkill. They're the two inch swivel casters. I like them because they got the little brake on them, but these smaller ones might be fine too. I don't know. To catch the trunk of your car with your face like I did. Oh, okay, next. Uh, I'm gonna put this wheel on. You wanna come right in here, babe? Now it's gonna change the height of the mirror. So, you know, take that into account. I'm just drilling some holes. <laughs> I got my assistants here. And I'm just making sure they line up and they're on, you know, a nice wide flat part. And the screws just have to be, you know, short enough that they don't come out the other side of the wood. Long is good though, because then you've got all that weight being supported. Oh, there they go. Yeah. They're not on straight, but I don't think it really matters. My battery's dead. Are you kidding me? Um, my, I have another battery in You mine. do? Can I use it? Yeah. You're so awesome. Yeah, take that battery out. No, I don't want to. Um, <laughs> I think, can I give you a headlamp and switch with you? No. <laughs> that smells good when you drill it. Doesn't it smell good? You smell it? Yeah. It smells good. All right, guys, that's one side. Mm, drill, it in, drill it in the hole mm. for this thing right here. here. Because I think you want some wheels on the bottom. So I got all the wheels on. Now we're going to pick it up and we're going to see... If it works. Now it's super tippy. Uh, tip it forward a little bit. Uh oh. So we're gonna need to put a block underneath this front part. I just put this here and just drew with a yellow pencil and I'm going to cut this notch in here and just put it on right there. And I'll do that to both sides on this front leg. Uh, it just tips forward. So <laughs> this is the front of the mirror. I think I'm gonna put this on diagonally so that I can screw it to the middle of the two by four and it won't split. And I'm gonna put it on uh, both sides. So I think this brings me to like, these wheels are like five bucks a piece. So like 30 bucks in wheels. So maybe this isn't the best idea. So I screwed this on crooked so that I'd get two screws in the middle of the two by four. And since the wheel just rotates on its center, it's in the center of the two by four. So hopefully that'll work fine. So the dead studio mirror is complete. The wheels worked. Uh, you don't need to put the wheels on, but if you're gonna do wheels, you probably want three sets on each leg. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I gotta clean it up, but it's a huge mirror. It's got my full range up to, you know, I'm, I'm not that tall person, <laughs> but it's got the full range. I can see everything. Even when I'm doing floor work down here, I can see. Pretty amazing! Thank you to my husband. <laughs>